My three top tips are for tutors. Be positive, be open-minded, and be flexible. You never know what's going to happen in any kind of workshop teaching tutoring situation. The adaptability and flexibility is crucial. My way of thinking is I can't go in there and demand them, say, look, I'm the teacher, you're the learner, this is how it's going to be. I need to gain their trust. People might come in late to a session. Usually, you know, what people do is um, denigrate them, put them down or point out, you know, you're late. It's very well, um, to be able to be welcoming and be adaptable in terms of not putting that person down and making sure that they feel welcome and that they belong in a group setting, in a classroom setting, in a um, training setting. Yeah, that's really important. That's what I found has always worked well. When I first started, gee, I mean, because um, I've had a few apprentices and when I first started, I've, I bought that sort of, um, you know, I teach, you listen, you know, I, I've got all the knowledge, uh, you've just come out of school, so it was more like I, I, and you know, you sort of listen. And throughout that sort of journey, um, it evolved that I needed to listen more, and they turned into the teacher, I turned into the student, so, and it's really developed my style of teaching. Having fun, having laughter and colour and vibrancy, yeah, that all makes for a successful training session, I reckon. Thinking outside the uh, box, you know, I always thought classrooms should be um, in a classroom, so around the four walls. And I've learnt that, you know, the classroom is uh, inside your mind, really, eh? as far as you can think of it. You know, that's where the learning is. So I like taking it outside the four walls and taking it into the, like, the environment outside. You know, so wherever I am or the students are or the learners are, that's where the classroom is.